Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for my upcoming DIY This DIY, I'll be creating a Chanel Glamour's wall clock, and I use these photos as my inspiration. So let's see what I came up with. Start off, I'll be working on the top clock lid, and I will start off with strong foam board that I purchased from Walmart. Next, I'll be using an 18 inch platter, and I'll place it on the foam board, and then I'll trace the circle. And for the center of the circle, I'll be using a 16 inch platter. Once I was done with both circles, I'll be using my X-Acto knife to cut them both out. To make the top of the lid stronger, I'll be gluing them both together. And for the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted one coat of metallic silver. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Once my lid was dry, I'll start applying silver glitter and clear school glue. I'll be applying it on just one side of the lid. Once it was dry, I applied three coats of Mod Podge spray to seal in the glitter. Next, I'll be using mirror reflection paper and I flipped it onto the back side to create my double C's and I'll be using this 12 inch plate to trace my circles and I'll be tracing two. And for the center, I'll be using this 12 inch glass. Once that was done, I'll be cutting out both circles. I went ahead and traced a pyramid shape on a postal board and I placed it on, on the bit wider side closest to the edge and then I traced it and cut it out. And now I have my Chanel logo. Next, I took them both and I placed it on a postal board and then I cut them out. We're using this large poster frame and I'll be taking it apart and just using the acrylic sheet. Next, I'll be using my 18 inch platter and I'll trace it on top and then I'll cut it out. Next, I'll apply hot glue around the edges and I'll adhere both pieces together. And now I have the top lid with a protective shield. Next, on my double C's, I'll start applying T-Rex double-sided tape on both C's. And just to make you aware, this tape is much stronger than the Gorilla double-sided tape.
Once that was done, I'll start applying them on top of the acrylic sheet, making sure that both are centered. Next, I'll be using black gem wrap and I'll start applying them straight across using hot glue and I'll be placing them two inches apart. Next, I'll be working on the bottom base and I already used the same foam board and previously cut an 18 inch circle. Next, I'll be using my long ruler and because I need a center focus point, I'll be drawing a line vertical and horizontal. Once that was done, I needed a center circle so I'll be using this 5 inch mirror and I'll trace it and then I'll cut it out. Next, I use the same foam bar and I cut out eight squares and I'll be gluing them on a half inch apart from the edges. Next, I took cardboard and cut it into a 6 inch circle and I also cut the center a half inch and this will be for the clock battery pack. Next, I added hot glue around the edges and I glued it on. Next, I'll be applying black acrylic paint. Once it was dry, I'll apply clear school glue and I'll apply a generous amount. I will also sprinkle on black glitter. And to seal in the glitter, I also apply three coats of the Mod Podge spray. Inside lighting, I'll be using LED wire fairy lights and all I did was apply them around the edges and I hold them in place by using white duct tape. And I place the battery pack on the back side of the clock. Next, I'll be using a clock kit and I glued on the battery pack on the back side of the clock and I also spray painted the hands metallic silver. And to cover the outside of the clock, I'll use glossy black contact paper and I took foam board and cut it to size and then I covered it with the contact paper. And then I'll be cutting grooves a quarter inch apart. 
make my grooves, I use my exacto knife, but be sure not to cut so deep or you will split the board. Before I glue on the outside trimming, I'll be gluing on the lid. And here I'm just demonstrating how I'll be gluing on the outside trimming. And to hang the clock, I use the same hook that came with the poster frame. And here is the finished look. What can I say about this stunning and beautiful wall clock? This is a pretty large wall clock and it measures 18 inches going around. And just to make you aware, this clock was requested from the same person that I gave the Chanel lamp also. I did send my friend a photo and a video of the clock. And you can imagine what she said. She fell in love with it and she wants it like yesterday. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting and shimmering that will bring into that special room in your home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.